Do you know what this is? I found it when I got my first tiny trailer. When I came out here, I found some more. I'm gonna tell you what these are on the other side. Today we're talking about what kind of tools you might need in your travels or your life on the road. And I'm not gonna talk about everything. I'm just gonna be talking about two things because in addition to I know I need them, I'd really like your feedback and advice. My name is Jill, this is Road Culture Rules, and today we're talking tools, but first, somebody asked what I'm talking about. I'm gonna ask you to take a deep breath, inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, because we all need to breathe. We're going into a short interlude, then we're gonna see you on the other side. Can't find it. I've seen it. Can't find it. So the reason I ask you to breathe is one, it's really good for you. And I used to say just three breaths, but now I just am asking you to do one deep breath because all your health value comes from your lower lobe. So that is why I'm reminding you and myself to take a deep breath. These, these are actually shears that people used to shear the sheep with. As you can see, they're a bit rusted. I actually kept that other one because I thought it would make really cute, you know, some kind of decoration for the wall. And then I found a bunch more and I thought, hey, I might actually be able to use these at some point. And they just sharpen them up. They would cut the sheep's wool and that's how they made their living. But today I'm asking you about just two other kinds of tools. And two of the things that I have found that I have needed quite a bit that I did not bring with me are a shovel and a pick. Now, I started off with the little shovel. You can see that here. That little shovel is what I keep in my car if there's an emergency so that I can dig out from the snow, from the sand, from the dirt, that kind of thing. The other shovel was the bigger one I bought because when you live in the dirt, sometimes you need to dig a hole. And then what I'm not showing you is what I need is a pick because if you're out here in the desert, the ground is really hard. You can't automatically make it rain just because you need to dig a hole. So I started to do some research uh, yesterday about what kind of pick I could get. I have no idea because the only one they have in town is a great big one and it's really heavy. And I started to see all this other stuff they had online. They have a combo axe pick shovel that you can carry around and break down. There's the great big ones that are specifically for gardening. There was way too many things to choose from. And since I'm not a famous YouTuber, I can't just contact all these companies and say, hey, send me your samples and I will do a review. So I'm going to you, my loyal people who like to listen. Do you have any thoughts on that? Because one of the things I liked about the picks and the ax and the shovel combo was to be able to break it down and it was light enough that it could travel with you. My concern is that it's too lightweight and it's not practical because my experience has been that sometimes you need to dig a big hole um, everything from your farming needs to your funeral needs. And I say that literally, I've had to bury my cat. I won't tell you where, <laughs> it's a secret. Uh, but sometimes bad things happen and so you need to dig a hole. But the other things that come up, which is what i have showing you out here, is that my wiring is exposed. Most of the time it's not a big deal, but now that the grasses have dried, the rats have started, or rabbits, I don't know what, starting to eat it. So I've you know wrapped it up to fix it, but I wanna bury it a little bit below the ground because also now the cows are back on this side and that means they're more likely to trip. That is my electricity and my internet, so I would prefer them to not get ripped out day or night, you never know. And so my goal is to dig a hole, but as you can see, the ground is really hard and I needed a pick, which is what got me started on all this. So any thoughts would be uh, appreciated and welcome on what your thoughts are about the best kind to get because it's something that it's really important uh, for, like I said, if you're gonna do any farming, if you need to dig a hole, but you'll also find a pick will be very helpful 
uh, in terms of water or waste kind of distribution. And so being able to dig a hole, I have found is extremely important, whether it's shoveling snow, uh, shoveling dirt, shoveling manure, a shovel is also really important. So those little kind of super survival ones don't work either at a more practical level. But the big stuff is heavy. So I don't know what the right balance is. I will tell you though, part of you know this process that I'm talking to you about and hoping to evolve it into is that it's important to think about number one, if there's emergency, but number two, if you also wanna get some work done along the way, if you wanna work for other people or you wanna volunteer, not volunteer, what am I talking about? If you want to be hired or barter for other kinds of uh, trade or services or money or things like that, having your own tools can be really helpful in that process. That's my question today. Any recommendations on the best kind of pick? I have axes in terms of um, uh, splitters for wood. I have sledgehammers and I have an ax and I have a maul. So I have that big heavy stuff that obviously I wouldn't carry with me in a backpack, but I got because if you ever need to you know split wood and chop wood for your fire you kind of need those tools the little survival like I said the little survival camping stuff that just doesn't work for day in and day out heavy duty usage so uh, any suggestions I will appreciate them down below any links I will appreciate them down below and hopefully we'll get back to you on what might be the better choice for your tools as you travel or live and work on the road. So with that, I'm gonna say thank you for joining me here today in our post Thanksgiving holiday. Guess what I saw yesterday? You will see that here. I didn't eat a turkey, but I saw some turkeys, who knew? <laughs> so we're gonna take one more deep breath for the road. As we say, I hope you will rise with the sun in your eyes. Love in your heart, be firmly on the ground as together we walk on Survival Road one day, one day, one step at a time. Live free, die wild, my friends, and we'll see you next time.